All right, so this question is basically about the derivative induction. And of course, in the derivative induction, it'll be asked the questions to prove uh, generally a result for a particular function, like where you have to prove a particular nth derivative is given by a certain formula. And I would consider this to be the easiest form of the induction, because if you know derivative, this is actually just one additional step. Now, let's just try to take this firstly for n equals to one. Okay, so the, follow the normal steps for the induction. Now, the first step is d by dx, x squared, e dash to x. When I, this formula is true, it should give me the answer as x squared plus 2x plus, if I take n as 1 here, it is going to be 0 times e raised to x. So basically, according to this formula, my derivative is x squared plus 2x e to the power x. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the derivative by the product rule. So which is like your manual method, you're going to do actually the derivative of this. So x squared times e to the power x, because the derivative of e to the power x is e to the power x. I'm applying product rule, uv dash plus vu dash. And then you're going to take e to the power x as it is times derivative of x squared, which is 2x. Now e to the power x, if you remove common, you get x squared plus 2x. And obviously, which is same as the right hand side. So that proves that this formula actually works for n equals to one. Now, if it is working for n equals to one, it means that if I assume that this will work for n equals to k, it means the kth derivative will be given by the formula for this function. It is going to be x squared plus 2kx plus k times k minus one e to the power x. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take, if this is true, I need to prove that this is true for n equals to k plus 1. Now I have to prove that the k plus 1th derivative is actually given by, for x squared e raised to x is given by x squared plus 2 times k plus 1 times x plus k plus 1 times, if you replace k here with k plus 1, you get k plus 1. And here, if you replace k minus 1 with k plus 1, you're going to get k times e to the power x. So that should be my answer, actually. This is what I should get as the k plus 1 derivative. Now, as a simple example, what I'm going to tell you is that, it, okay, if you, for example, if you've got third derivative, and I wanted to find out the fourth derivative is you're simply going to differentiate this to get the fourth derivative because uh, if you if you look at the simple thing, here it is, that I already have got the kth derivative. If I differentiate this, I should get this answer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply product rule on this. I'm going to do the actual derivative of x squared e raised to uh, x squared plus 2kx k k minus 1 times e to the power x by applying product rule. So this is the expression, this this one, uh, which is basically the, the original function. Now, if I differentiate, I should get this as answer. So let's apply product rule. Now, remember that any term that is a constant, any term that is uh, a constant that will be like in terms of k will be treated as a constant. Anything that is in terms of x that you have to differentiate. So apply product rule here. So I'm going to take this as u, v as this. So first you differentiate u dash. So u dash is going to be 2x plus 2k. Because x squared derivative is 2x, 2kx derivative is 2k, and this derivative is 0. Times u, u dash v plus, now I'm going to keep u as it is, x squared plus 2kx plus k times k minus 1 as it is, and times e to the power x. So you can take now e to the power x common. You can see that clearly. e to the power x, I'm going to remove common. And now you get x squared plus 2kx plus 2x uh, plus, so I'm just taking this thing here. I'm just writing this first. Here I've already written. So I'm going to erase this part. And first I'm going to write down the second bracket terms. So here we got... Uh, x squared plus 2kx plus this as it is, k, k minus 1, and plus this terms, which is 2x plus 2k. Now, if you simplify this, if you open the bracket, 2kx plus 2x, it is going to be basically e to the power x, x squared 
plus 2k plus 2 you can take common x and this is k square minus uh, k and if you add 2k so it is going to become k square plus k and if you factorize that you're going to get k times k plus 1 and this is what we wanted to prove this is what exactly we wanted to prove out here so when you look at the simple step that is involved out here is that if you differentiate the kth derivative you're going to get k plus 1th derivative now i did is product rule on this if i apply product rule uh, take this as u, take this as v, u dash v plus v u dash, oh, u v dash. So u dash is nothing but x squared plus 2k, v is as it is, then u as it is and times v dash, e to the power x derivative is e to the power x. I removed e to the power x common, then you collect all the terms inside the bracket, you simplify them, and you get it. And do not forget to write down the final statement. Because that carries one mark. If you don't write the final statement, since so this formula holds true for n equals to 1, n equals to k, n equals to k plus 1, and hence you write down that, okay, the kth derivative for this is going to be um, true for all the positive integers. So this is how you do the derivative.